So I have been in my schools. There are program Whoa. feeder. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a bad pace for me. Why are you so? Pa- How did you break up a word midway through in a pace? So I have been in my school's theater program for two years now, and I've yet to click with my drama teacher. He's the kind of guy who picks favorites from his students, and I am not one of them. His favorite students are always the one he recommends to people and gives the best roles on auditions. I'm not a bad actor, but he never really notices me or acknowledges that I'm just as good as them. Do you have any advice for me about how to make him notice me or make him like me more? And that's from Unnoticed Actress. I have good news for you. Oh, he yeah? is giving you the greatest gift. Oh. He is giving you the drive and desire to become famous and shove it back in his stupid face. Or And also, he's preparing you for a, a career of what is going to, and I'm sure you're going to make it. I Listen, a lot of people come to us and they say, I got big old stars in my eyes. Ow! And then we say, yeah. But for you, I know <laughs> that you're going to make it. You are going to face a lot of neglect Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of neglect. A lot of You think neglect. you've tasted neglect? Oh, uh, you don't know fucking anything. <laughs> it's going to get so much worse before it gets better. It'll get better. And you're going to make it. Ooh, someday I'm going to see your name in lights. But before I'm going to see your name in shit. <laughs> <laughs> you are on the perfect arc for superstardom. Think about every actor or actress you've ever heard from. How many of their stories start with, well, from a young age, I was coddled. And Mm -hmm. uh, I was coddled by everybody and I had a super healthy upbringing and everybody was really nice to me and that's why I'm famous today. No, you have to start with nobody acknowledging your existence until you make it. Do you think that's 100% true? Do you you think like, I think maybe Kira Knightley was like from the womb, like, Let's well, get she the, was, oh, we gotta get this kid famous. She was genetically developed. We gotta get this kid famous as fast as possible. Get on, get her, get on the movie, quick, 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 quick. Go, <laughs> look at her face. Get on the camera. Is there anything? Is there the a camera? camera? Just film it. Give me a camera. I'll write the script as we go. <laughs> look at that face. Listen, Beautiful. if you want to, if you want a Rambo, right? You gotta raise a Rambo, right? You don't, you don't, you don't coddle them. You gotta raise a Rambo. There's two kinds of actors in this world. There's actors. There's Keira Knightley so and Rambos. Talented. There's Kira Knightley and there's Rambos, right? You're either a Knightley or a Rambo. You're either so coddled that you take it for granted that everything's going to come to you. You don't work hard. You're not out there pounding the pavement, 6 a.m. cattle call auditions until you make it big. You hit that thing. The director goes, that person, they've got the look. I want them in my movie, right? And 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 if you're coddled, yeah, yeah, maybe you're a Kira Knightley, but that's literally one in billions. Mm-hmm. I, well, I would say for everybody, that's definitely one in billions. I want to teach you a valuable lesson on notice actress. I am sorry that your acting teacher is not giving you the attention that you so richly deserve. You have great taste in podcasts. Uh, but you are given an invaluable opportunity right now to realize that like, when, when you are doing this as a profession, there's going to be a lot of times when you don't get the attention you deserve. And it's a great opportunity for you to focus on the work. Yeah, I don't know what true. the work is, but I, I've heard a lot of people talk about it. It seems like something you should be focused. You just on. like try to what? you try to cry in front of a mirror, mm-hmm. and you do mm-hmm. that for mm-hmm. you do that for just mm-hmm. hours at a time. Just ah! yeah, and you gotta put yourself in the head of people. You know, like what what would it be like to be a guy who didn't like Syria? Yeah, I'm Matthew McConaughey. Mm. All yep. right, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> So Nailed it. That was me. That's me. And what you just heard was the work. And I just became a little bit of a better actor. Do, just like do, that. Give me another one. I'm the President Barack Obama. Hi. Uh, let me sign that bill. Uh, let me sign that bill. And, ooh, I don't know about uh, drones. So then that was more. Now I could probably do him. Now can you do Bronco Obama? Yeah, I'm Bronco Obama. <laughs> let me hide. Let me. Let me. Ooh, look out for that rattler. Hand me that bill to sign into law. He's our he's our Wild West president. So mm-hmm. now that's I'm a little bit better. I'm gonna go audition actually. I'm gonna stop the podcast right here and go audition <laughs> just as All right, uh, quick edit. Quick edit. Let me just run out. I got it. <laughs> what what role? Bronco Bronco Obama. <laughs> the role of Bronco Bron- Obama in a no, no, local no. auto dealership Bron- commercial. Bronco I'm assuming. Bronco Obama and I, it's in City Slickers three. Shitty Slickers. <laughs> called shitty slickers because they just like they know 
Yeah. They know. Do you guys want a Yahoo? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Trini's. <laughs> I know, yeah, now I really want to watch now, that. Okay, so now I, I need to go to Upper Montana and I need to see shit and stickers. <laughs> and neither will ever happen because our limited. ideas are too beautiful to exist. Yeah, too limited, often please. people take movie titles and then they convert them into like porn movie titles. I wish that more people would say, but what if I just made a really bad version of this movie? Yeah. I'd call it shitty slickers. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad, it's not a remake. Original script written by that fucking dude who writes all the X Men movies that are so bad. If I wrote a show about four women leading really boring, stupid lives, I think I'd call it Sex in the Shitty. <laughs> um, how about a Yahoo? Yeah, please. This Yahoo is sent in by Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. It's by Yahoo Answers user. Uh, Wait, is, it too late to do, is it too late to do Caroline in the Shitty? Yeah, it's way too late. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay, uh, this you're u- just doing City now. <laughs> I know. I, I'm, I've tapped this well. This, uh, this user's been deleted, been suspended from the Matrix. Not like this. Send shitty. Great. Uh, <laughs> this anonymous deleted <laughs> user. Do we are do, are we just gonna sit here and think of other movies that have city in the title? Yes. No. Babe Pig in the I city. was just about to do Babe Pig in the Shippy. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Okay. Can we move on? Yes, I have one other thing to say. Sex, <laughs> sex in the shitty too. <laughs> the Legend of Curly's okay. Gold. All right. Shitty of Angels. Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm trying to think okay can i do one Let's, yes please i need to think wasn't there a what was the movie about the mouse that michael j fox is the voice for Stuart little it's Stuart shittle <laughs> it doesn't have city in it at all it's nothing it has nothing to do with city and i thought you were gonna say new jack shitty oh that's new jack shitty 